Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I'm here at Station 3 and it's time to head west, across this unexplored area, and hopefully find some new places along the way to Venderbite. And then from there I'm thinking about maybe taking the quest to transport all of those tomb colonists? Maybe. Might take it, might not. If I don't take it, I'm probably just going to head along the coast, see if there's anything here, and then head down to Fallen London and probably purchase more supplies. Because I'm actually running really low on supplies. So, let's go. Discovered Wolf's Rift. Uh, did I? I don't see it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, let's sneak up behind it. One more good shot. Nice. No damage whatsoever. Beautiful. Cache of curiosity, so let me get some more linen. Or whatever that stuff was, silk. Four supplies. <laughs> that's actually really good. That's exactly what I needed, and that's actually worth even more than the... What was it? Parabola silk or whatever it was? Um... Oh, the, yeah, the linen. That's actually worth more. Because it costs 20 echo for each supply. So that is 4 times 20, which is 80. So that's 80 worth of supplies. And each linen goes for 50. So that's actually really good. I thought that was actually one of those strong pirate ships. Thankfully it wasn't. Alright. I think I've gone north enough, so let's go west. Something new in London. Also, my terror is pretty freaking high. But I'm kind of low on fuel. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's one of the big ones. I'm gonna go for it. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. It's got 140. Nope, I'm not going for it. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Okay, this is actually really bad. I'm going to do this, which, um... This, by the way, full power to the engines makes you go super fast, but, uh... As it says here, beware your engines will occasionally explode. So, um... <clears throat> yeah. Also, I think... Some of my crew died. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Alright, stop. Go full normal speed. I think we're... Wait, hold on. How do I stop? How do I stop going super fast? Did I already stop? I'm not sure. How do I tell? No, I'm, I'm still going way too fast. How do I turn this off? I don't want full power to the engines. Not entirely sure how that mechanic works, because I pressed this and then I went super fast, and I think you just have to wait for your engines to cool? I guess so. Anyway. Well, one or two of my crew died, and I kind of need to repair my hole just a little bit. Alright, that thing was nasty. What was that, 140 hit points? Gonna go a little bit north. I want to find some new places. I need a lot of port reports. I need stuff. I might have been able to kill it, maybe, but it wasn't worth the risk. Frostfound. Frostfound? Isn't that where the tireless mechanic was talking about? When I originally hired him, didn't he say something about Frostfound? 
Hmm. A long way to the northeast. Eh. No, I'm not gonna risk it. I also don't want to mess with the bats. I don't know if I can just shoot them with my gun or what. Like, can you really shoot? <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, can you really shoot a swarm of bats with a gun? I mean, it seems like it would just miss. Oh, what is that thing? I don't know. Let's give it a wide berth. I just feel like if I try to attack the bats, I'm just not going to be able to hit it. And they're just going to keep biting me and taking away my health little by little. Okay, so we're scared shitless. Our hole is falling apart, and we have very little money. In other words, everything's going just fine. Alright, at this point, I'm not going to take a quest to transport people anywhere, because I need to go back to London and I need to repair my shit. Okay, what's going on? Explore for another port report, let's do that. You've lost a crew member, lose too many and your speed will be reduced, lose them all and you will die. You can always engage more in London and sometimes other ports. Lose too many and your speed will be reduced. So does my speed only get reduced if my crew is like below a certain amount? Or is it just like a simple scale where the more crew the faster you are, the less crew the slower you are? So am I already slower? I don't know. Wait a minute, what exactly happened? Something happened that gave me a relic and made me more terrified. Uh, dissolution. A tomb colonist hobbles towards you. I will not, she hissed fiercely. I will not. Not for me, the sanatorium, nor the emergence. I lived and I will die. She draws a sword from her sash. You jump back. Tomb colonists, fearless and long experienced, are famed for their dueling skills. She raises the sword, flourishes it, and beheads herself with a triumphant cry. Her head bounces across the ground towards you. What the hell? So she didn't want to go to the sanat the sanatorium. Nor the emergence, so she beheaded herself publicly. Does that mean the relic that I just gained was her head? Or is it the sword? I don't know. That's creepy. Alright, that actually was not related to the port report, but this is. First curator. I still don't have the curator's colors, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't do anything there. Let's see, so supplies here cost 30. That's definitely more expensive in, than they are in London. It costs 20 in London. <laughs> Can sell my memory of distant shores. I've got one. I do need money. I really do need money. I'm gonna sell it. And I think that's it. And, oh, you know what, let's check out that quest. Right, last tour operator. Oh, I need 12 supplies to even be able to do that. Right, it replaces 12 supplies with 12 tomb colonists. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Nope.
Alright, we need to go back to London and we need to lick our wounds. Anywhere I can stop along the way? I guess I can check out this part of the coast and see if there's something here. Let's do that. The closer we stay to the shore, the less our terror will go up. Lights are also a good thing. Oh. Shit. Well. Gonna take more damage. Alright, one more good shot. Alright, not too bad. Only took four damage. Two supplies. Nice. That's good. At least I don't have to buy any more supplies. My fuel is really freaking low, though. Three fuel. If I run out of fuel, I'm dead. Can't do a damn thing. And I don't think I can just go ask the uh, glowing crabs that I've been murdering to just pick me up and tow me back to the... to the land. Alright, the good thing is, I think I can trade my Admiralty's favor for fuel. Which I'm certainly going to do. I think I can also trade my favor to repair my hole, which I might need to do. I think it's going to cost, what, a hundred to repair my hole? Which, well, I suppose I could afford that. If I sell my two linens, I should have about... Yeah, 208. Get 50 for each linen, I have 108 right now. 108 plus 100 equals 208. Mental math. Ah, uh, the revenue men again. Come aboard, whatever. They roam the deck like wolves, they tear through your belongings like termites, at last they leave. Get out of here. Messages? Free evening. Someone wants to sign on, thank god. Alright, I still don't have your stuff. Right, he wants the parable of linen. I have two out of seven. Um, I don't think I can afford to hold on to it, though. Well, let's see how much this taking care of my hull and my fuel will... Uh, let's see what that leaves me at. One point of favor will get you two to three fuel. Alright, and what about the dry dock? What about repairing? Oh yeah, let's just uh, submit the port reports first. Let's see what we get. One fuel. Favor didn't change. Five echo. Vendor bite. One fuel. Favors unchanged. Ten echo. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I can choose how to submit my port report about Shepherd's Isle. Or Shepherd Isle. No, sorry. Shepherd Isles. Let's just call it Shepherd's Isles. Because why not? Anyway, you get to choose how you want to submit the port report. Because remember, they told me some tall tale about people being turned to stone and how you can hear them wailing or something if you get near the stones. So I can present it as a fact, which only has a 25% chance of success. Or I can submit it as an unsubstantiated hearsay. I'm guessing if I pass this, I'll probably get a lot more stuff for it. But... It's not even close to worth it. No, 25% chance. I'm probably going to lose favor if I don't pass it. 
You know, if I try to feed the Admiralty some line of bullshit, they're probably going to trust me even less. So, let's just tell it as it is. Fuel, plus one favor. Ten echo, nice. Station three. Now, what is this? And this is my colleague, Mr. Vellane, of the Ministry of Public Decency. Mr. Vellane, this good captain's report is here. If you would care to... Yes, the fire is already lit. Let us... There we go. Now only ashes remain. And it might have caused a lot of troubles. Thank you, Captain. We appreciate your discretion. Here's your payment. You need not trouble yourself further in this affair. Okay, there's something really shady going on at Station 3. So much so that they want to burn the report. Hmm. But they did... Oh my god. They compensated me very well. A hundred echo. One favor, one fuel. Okay. Two hundred... Oh, 233 echo. That means I now have enough money to go do the, uh... The, the Salt Lions run. Excellent. Things are looking up. Alright, so I do need... Well, actually, I don't need fuel anymore. Yeah, seven fuel. That's enough fuel. That's fine. I do need to repair my hull, though, because right now, if I get into a firefight with one of those stronger pirate ships, I'm probably dead. Alright, um... Erm... Um, how do I do that? Dry dock. Dry dock. I have to go to London first, right? Yeah. Hmm... Let's see, they have a reputation for cutting corners, but it's relatively cheap. Eh. 100 Echo, but they'll do it right. Admiralty's favor. Sorry. Admiralty's favor, not Admiralty. Use up three of my favor. I have seven. That is totally worth it. Yeah, you get a massive discount. 25 Echo instead of, like, 100. So, basically, three Admiralty's favor is taking the place of 75 Echo. Or I can employ Rattus Faber Engineers. What does that mean? The Rats of Fallen London are remarkably skilled engineers, and they know ships well. They are not, however, reliable. Payment is in kind, not currency. This will repair some of your hull, but how much? Difficult to say. Uh, let's not go with the Rat people for now. Let's trade in some of my favor. Alright. That leaves us with 209, so we still have enough money to go to the Salt Lions. And I guess I'll just do that. What about cargo space, though? I needed... What did I need? 20 cargo space for the... To transport the stones? So what do I have? 16 out of 40? All right, got the room. I guess we're pretty much just good. Um, let me see if I can get some more crew. Don't want to pay any more officers, but Zaylor, 5 Echo. Well, yeah, I can afford that. I can just get one that'll leave me the 204 Echo. There we go. Lost one Terra, lost 5 Echo, gained one crew. My Terra's really freaking high, though. <sighs> I could, like, I could lower my Terra, but I think it's going to cost money. Wouldn't it? Um, let's read the morning papers. The Canade is threatening war. Um, I think I read this before. Y yes. Oh, yeah. I got the promotional coupon, which gives me plus one supplies. And I've lost one terror. Yay. Ten echo to rest. Reduce your terror, heal a wound, and give you a restful night. That'd be awfully nice, but I literally can't afford it unless I sell some of my linen, but I kind of want to save that up for a quest. 
My terror is awfully high, though. The thing is, what I've heard is that if your terror is above 50, when you return to London, it automatically gets reduced to 50. But I don't think I want to hang around 50. I don't actually know what the effects of high terror are, but they're probably not good. But I'm just gonna leave it for now. Hope nothing crazy happens. Let's see. Oh, right, I have a relic. Yeah, let's give the relic to the alarming scholar. A beaming smile. This would be so terribly wasted in an ossuary. She? He? Buffs the cranium with a sleeve. A buffs the cranium. So the... <laughs> so the strange artifact, or sorry, the lamentable art uh, relic, is actually the head of the woman that beheaded herself. Oh my god. And everybody else was okay with this? Like, this woman just beheaded herself right in front of me, and I just walked up and took the head with me? And everybody's like, huh, just another day in vendor bite. Alright. I think a climbing Breer Rose will suit this one rather well. A yellow rose, perhaps. Thank you so much. Let's keep this between ourselves. Gain five echo. Can also give away my outlandish artifact, but don't I need that for something? I thought I needed that for something. Is it for this? Yeah, okay, so I could do this with outlandish artifacts or with linen. Hmm. Well, I have more linen than artifacts. So, maybe I just want to forget the artifacts and just go with the linen? I certainly seem to find more of the linen. It seems to mostly come from killing the ships. I'll just keep it for now. Okay, so let's go over to the Salt Lions. Straight east. Yeah, and then I guess I'll just maybe stop by here on the way over. Deliver some news to the lighthouse people. My terror's gonna get rather high, but I'm hoping that when I come back to London and I can reduce it down to 50, that will be okay. I don't know, my people are probably... Whoa. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades. But it's not a good omen. Ooh, I think this might be related to the terror. If I have a Z story, I can spin them a story, but I don't. So I have to attempt to calm them. <laughs> There's a perfectly natural explanation. 67% chance. Come on. Um, ooh, I succeeded. Light meets dark. The darkness in the neath is more than the absence of light. It's a physical presence which distorts the shape of the world. Your light melts the darkness, restores sanity to the world. You explain something of this to your Zaylers. It's not the first time they've heard it, but they seem slightly less nervous. Sweet. Speak to the crew, give them my recent news. Lost five terror and gained a Z story. Awesome. Now we go across the vast black part of the ocean. No lights, no land. Wait, what the hell is this? 
In the watches of the night, you pad softly past the hatch to the crew quarters. A man cries out softly in his sleep. Desperately. Another. Hmm. Ignore them or inquire about their dreams the next morning. Yeah, so these are more negative effects of terror, I think. Don't worry about it, nothing. Everything's fine. The crew is subdued as they take their meals. But all is quiet in the next watch. Lost one terror. Coming towards me. All right, it broke away. Whoa, no. Okay, we're good. Grab a report. Gain a fragment. Oh wait, no, that's not a report, is it? Nope, but I did gain a fragment and lost five terror. Nice. Oh, here we go. Alright, now let's do what I really came here for. So, 200 echo. So, if the 200 echo is my deposit for the Sphinx stones, and I'm assuming that's that means that's what I get paid... I will get paid 200 Echo when I pick up my deposit or something. Because presumably the deposit is the amount of money that the Sphinx Stone is worth, right? I'm assuming. Alright, lost 200 Echo, gained 20 Sphinx Stone. If the stones weep, an unmaker advises you, ignore them. Unless they fled your hold, of course. Then you should probably drop them overboard. Don't tell anyone I said that. Um... Ooh, it looks like I can do it again. If I can just keep doing this trade route, I'm going to do this all freaking day, because I'm going to make bank. But there's no way you can just keep doing this, right? That'd be way too easy. There's got to be some sort of a catch. Alright, so I've got it in my hold, right? Yeah, there it is. The Unmakers have smashed these sad and rubbly remnants of, off the flanks of Assault Lion. A contact in London will purchase them. All right. So this seems kind of like the terror run, because you have to go across a huge empty space, which really increases your terror by quite a lot. for me? Doesn't seem to be. Ooh, oh, no. It's got a question mark, which means I think it's following me. Is it faster than me or slower? I can't... Ooh, uh, I think it might be faster, but just slightly. Oh god. Oh. I <laughs> just barely avoided that. Damn. Nice dodge on my end, if I do say so myself. Hello! Don't think I have anything new for you. No, I don't. Goodbye. Forty-four terror. All right. So what did I pick up? I picked up like five, or no, I think I picked up like six terror just going across once. It's really not good. But I can reduce my terror by just paying like 
10 Echo. Just to get a good night's sleep. So, it might not be that big of a deal. Assuming this works out the way I think it's going to work out, and I'm going to get paid 200. Alright. Freaking Revenue Man again. Alright, well, I think Sphinx Stone is fine, right? So, yeah, we're fine. Okay. Now, who do I sell this to? Is it in a shop? I thought there's like a contact or something. Is it an objective? Let's see. Hmm. I think this the uh, price of a bale of parabola linen went up? No, the other one I sold was spider silk. That was the 50 one. This one's just more expensive. <laughs> Wait a minute. You can buy a crate of human souls? What the hell? Uh, okay. Alright, so I can't actually sell it here. The stones. So, yeah, where's the contact? A contact in London will purchase them. You? No. You? No. Here? Oh, here we go. Deliver Sphinx Stone. Special Constables. Black uniforms, distinctive caps, the badge of the Ministry of Public Decency. Wait with a chart. Unlocked for an objective to deliver some salt line as you've run several loads of Sphinx Stone. You've been running Sphinx Stone to London. I don't know what that means, but let's do it. Such wealth! You've earned enough echoes to buy a better equipment for your ship. Click on the shops tab. A new engine or deck weapon would be a good first purchase. Holy fuckballs! That didn't give me 200, that gave me 500. Damn, I'm rich! I'm freaking rich! Oh, think of the things I could do with this. Sign, sign, sign. Here's your receipt. Here's a discretion contract. Here's a penalty contract. Your vision is blurred by the end of it all. The cart rumbles off into the coiling fog. Here's a reward. Lost to a terror, gained 500 echo. Okay, if I can keep doing that run, like, <laughs> that's gonna be the only damn thing I do. Because that is amazing. It's so much better than getting, like, 5 or 10 echo from exploring around dangerous places. So much better. Okay, I do need to dump my terror. And I do want some more crew, so let's do a bunch of stuff. Let's get some more crew. Alright, can I do it again? Uh, no. Oh, I have to wait for another day. Okay. So, just get some more crew later. No need to repair. I've got fine health. Do I want another officer? Maybe. I mean, ideally, I would have an officer for everything, so I get all the bonuses. So I can carouse in Wolfstock docks. Which looks like it would reduce my terror, but it also looks like it's kind of like a story event generator. Like going for a night on the town and just see what happens. 80% chance of success, that's pretty good, but if I just wanted to reduce my terror, I should probably just sleep. Because <laughs> sleeping has a very low risk of anything averse happening. Oh, anything averse happening? What the fuck does that even mean? Anything bad happening. There we go. Wouldn't want anything averse to happen. Do I have any port reports? Ah, yes. The salt lines. Unchanged. 20 echo. Nice. One fuel. Cool. Not much, but it's something. Alright, so maybe I do... Like this tutorial 
thing says, maybe I should see if I could buy something for my... my boat. My ship. A new engine or deck weapon would be a good first purchase. I especially want a weapon. That would be very helpful. Alright, so I have a... well, I don't have a forward position, but I do have auxiliary and bridge. So... What is this? So that's a light for the bridge. So I can buy new lights. It increases my mirrors, but decreases my veils. And mirrors, by the way. Where is it? There it is. Detection and perception. The higher your mirrors, the quicker you can find a firing solution in combat. So this would allow me to shoot people faster, but it would take down my veils, which means I'd be easier to spot. Also, that is really expensive. That's pretty much all of my money. Hold on. Let's, um... Let's sleep first, shall I? See if I can get my terror down. Lost one terror. Oh. <laughs> that's it? Okay, that's not a good way to reduce my terror. Shit. I can read the morning papers. Gained a supply, lost one more terror. Nice. Okay, back to seeing what I can buy. Actually, wait, I can hire on another crew member now, can't I? Because I slept. I think I can. Oh, nope, I can't. Okay, screw the lamps. Keminus Yard's Pneumatic Rat Sender. What the f- I don't even- No. <laughs> I'm not even going to touch that stuff. Alright, that's a forward weapon, which I don't have a slot for. Torpedo Net, Auxiliary, I do have a slot for that, but I haven't really faced torpedoes as far as I know. Deck weapon. Deck, deck, deck. Don't I have a deck slot? Oh yeah, but it's already used. I mean, I could buy a better version of this, so that's not necessarily bad, but I would like, like, a bridge thing. So let me see if I can find a bridge weapon. Aft. Hmm. I guess there isn't one. Don't have enough damn slots. <laughs> this weapon is called Discouragement. Alright, but I can buy a better version of the current weapon that I have. What else could I buy? New engine. Oh my god, my engine is trash. Look at this. I can buy a new version of my current engine for 50. <laughs> oh man, that's depressing. Hmm. I can purchase a secure compartment. Cargo security plus one. That's weird. Engine power, power 1000, engine power 800. Alright, so this would give me like... 20% more speed, I guess? awfully expensive, though. That would be all of my money. Nah, I think I'm just gonna buy a replacement weapon. So, let's do that. What is the best deck weapon? So, this is the one I currently have. It does 8 damage. The names are so long, it's hard to tell exactly which one's better and which one's not. So, another deck weapon. That's deck. Forward. 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 Deck. Alright, so 500. Deck. 200. Deck. So it looks like there's three deck weapons. This one for 50, this one for 200, and this one for 500. And this one does 12 damage. Yeah, pretty much just 12 damage. 
whereas the one I currently have does 8. And the one that costs 200 does... Wait, what? I'm very confused. This one that costs 200 does 15 damage. This one that costs 500 does 12. So it's more expensive, but it's worse? I don't understand. What? Hold damage 12. Life damage 12. Crew damage 1. Warm up time 4. 15. 15. Crew damage 1. Warm up time 4. Is there something I'm missing? According to the stats, this gun is literally just better. Deck? Deck. Okay. I don't get it. But, I'm gonna buy it. And this thing is an ancient piece of crap, so I guess I should just sell it. Okay, 300 left. Could purchase some fuel. I probably should purchase some fuel. Or maybe I should trade in my favor for fuel. I mean, if I wanted to save up my favor, what would I be saving it up for? As far as I can tell, nothing. So let's just do that. Visit the Admiralty's fuel store. If you've done good work, the Admiralty will issue with a little book of chitties. I've always wanted a book of chitties. Although it's a tough challenge. Hmm. That's weird. What if I fail? Does that mean I lose favor and I don't gain anything? Let's see what happens. Success eventually. But apparently I failed in the challenge. The good. Free fuel. The bad, a half-hour argument with the Quartermaster, who insists that your chitties have not been stamped by the Office of Incongruous Requests. Eventually, she grudgingly permits you to load your fuel cart. Hmm. Okay, so if I gained two fuel having failed it, then what happens if you pass it? Do you get three fuel, or maybe you don't lose favor? But no, it specifically says you will exchange one point of Admiralty's favor for two to three fuel. So, yeah, I don't know what, ex what what passing it would actually do, but even if you fail it, seems fine. And now it's locked. Alright. Oh, you know what? Let's hire on board somebody else. I want more officers. So, what do I need? First officer, gunnery officer, and surgeon. I can't actually do it, can I? I guess not. Okay. Sometime later. Let's go! My terror is still going to be a problem, though. Alright, so I'm going to make another Sphinx Stone run. Because if I can keep doing this, this is pretty freaking amazing. I mean, 500 Echo. Whew. I felt like I was rich when I got that. Gather another Z story. And lost 5 tear. Nice. Actually, you know what? Couldn't you just go back and forth and just, like, read the paper? Come back here, lose 5 tear. Read the paper. Come back here, lose 5 tear. I guess you'd probably have to wait to read the paper again. Plus, you would use fuel and supplies in the process. Anyway, where's my total damage? I 
want to know how much, um, I think, oh, it's here, right? Yeah, so now I do 20 to 28 damage. And a plus 9 bonus from my iron stat, which is really good. Should I try to take this thing out? I'm feeling kind of cocky. Nah, never mind. It's got 75 hit points. It's gonna be four shots. Just gonna do a loop de loop here. Don't want it to see me. Uh, maybe it did see me. Nope, we're fine. Oh, don't you dare. Okay, please make it to port. Oh god, it's charging up. It's charging up, I think. Oh, I'm fine. Get out of here. Yeah, I can do it again. Beautiful. Let's compile a report. And, ooh, there's something new here. Actually, let's visit the Unmakers first. Lost five tear, nice. Oh, wait, shit. Oh, no. There's something else to do, but I think I lost it because I, uh, I spent my free time on... Talking to the Unmakers, I guess. Hmm. I'll have to check that out next time I get here. But, um, uh, alright, it's the same thing as before. 200 Echo. 20 cargo space. Let's do it. In fact, it looks like you could just keep taking more and more if you had enough cargo space and money. But I don't have enough of either, so... It's not gonna happen on a ship of this size. Because it takes 20 cargo space to store one of these, so I'd need 40 cargo space for two, and that's literally my entire cargo space, so I'd have to do <laughs> I'd have to do the run with no fuel and no supplies. Not gonna happen. Let's wait for that thing to fuck off. Uh-oh. Nope, we're good. Alright, I'm actually going to turn on my light here. This is going up way too fast. It still goes up... Whoa. It still goes up even with the light, but... Uh, it's better? Okay. Okay, we're fine. I didn't know they can go that fast. Thankfully, though, it just shot itself out of range. I think it's because I had my light on. This takes up so much more fuel to have this light on. It's ridiculous. It's like double the fuel usage. Don't think there's any reason to stop by. Let's keep on going. There's gotta be a catch to this, like, there's no way you can keep doing this. Because, if you could, you could just do this for, like, five hours and then amass a fortune. And just buy every single damn thing you want. 45 terror. Ugh. Free evening. Someone wants to sign on. Excellent. Deliver the stone. 500 more echo. Oh my god, this is amazing! I'm just gonna keep doing this. 
feel freaking rich. I mean, it's gonna go wrong. Like, something's gonna go wrong, but for now, this is amazing. Alright, let's get another officer, shall we? The Haunted Doctor. Genial Magician? Or a Zailer? What does the Doctor do? I'm assuming they would increase my hearts? And the Genial Magician? What the hell does he do? Is he a first officer? Perhaps I can do your engines some good. Oh, no, he's a mechanic. But I already have a mechanic. That's not gonna work. I can't take you, man, I'm sorry. I will take the doctor, though. I love these, <laughs> these like, completely asinine-sounding restrictions. Like, to engage the haunted officer, you have to have no more than zero times the haunted doctor. That's, like, the world's most convoluted way of saying, if you want the haunted doctor, you can't already have the haunted doctor. Like, what? Why is that even there? It's so weird. And some of these don't even make any sense. Unlocked when learning about, colon, the haunted doctor is, colon, nothing. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Come aboard! Thank you. This is mine. It'll do very nicely. Excuse me. I'll just turn up the oil lamp a touch. I dislike the dark. Do you? Well, I'm not sure if he's going to like the amount of terror on board. If he's afraid of the dark. Plus, I have a tendency to not turn on the lights when I'm traveling across the deep, dark Untersee. But anyway. He looks... Um, happy, earnest, learned, prone to jump at loud noises. A doctor aboard plus one, plus three pages, plus six hearts. Let's go ahead and speak to him. He is soft-voiced, courteous, rarely makes eye contact, but often stares at other people's eyes from afar. He looks so sad. Chat about science, or politics, or about his medical career, or spend a secret to increase my hearts. I've got two secrets. Hmm. Alright, so it looks like it costs supplies. Yeah, you're eating up the supplies because you're literally eating dinner with them. Well, I'm not doing too good on supplies, so I don't think I want to do that just yet. I actually kind of want to get into some combat. I want to kill some more pirates. Now that I've got that new gun and my hole is looking pretty spiffy. I'm going to gather up some loot. Some booty. Okay, I believe I have a port report to deliver. 20 echo, 1 fuel, thank you. Read the paper. Gain supplies, nice, got the coupon again. Do I have anything new to deliver to you? I have two Z stories. Let's deliver one. Uh, same text as before, so I won't read it. Antiquarian is increasing. Ten echo. Lost a story. Nice. Looks like that's it. Alright, one last thing I want to do. Let's do this. Let's just see what happens. Because I really want to reduce my terror. And it seems like fun stuff could happen from doing this. So it's 10 echo. 80% chance of success. Sure. A strange night out. You wake in the back room of Gaston's Lamprey. Head pounding. You had something to drink. But beyond that, it's a little hazy. Your knuckles are bloody. Your blood, you think. And your shirt bloody likewise. Probably not yours, unless your blood is slick and greenish. You've had better nights out. A difficult brew, Gaston says. Nomically? N nomically? What the hell is that word? Isn't that nomically? 
What does it mean to say a word gnomic? I don't even know. So, did I succeed? I lost terror. You were unlucky. I guess I failed. I still lost uh, three terror, though. So, not too bad. I don't think losing three terror for ten echo is really a very good exchange, though. Okay, well, yeah, I think we're good. I think I'm just going to keep doing this run until I've saved up a bit of money and maybe bought, like, a new engine. Heck, maybe even a new boat, I don't know. I'm just going to keep riding this train and gathering money. Alright, so, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.